From 75 to 86 we had a golden era in Kerry and then you, you presumed always that a golden era will continue. From 86 to 97 we had what's considered in Kerry a famine. I mean, in, in May it's 1951 since the last all Ireland. I mean, you see Kerry qualifying for the final again last Sunday. That's their 11th all Ireland nice. final in this Northeast. I mean, like the one thing about it, you'll say, why are Kerry, you know, they're at the top table all the time. And, and there's two things about Kerry. They believe in coaching youngsters in the basic skills. There's a conveyor belt of highly skilled, well-coached youngsters coming through. But the great quality about, uh, about Kerry teams down through the ages is their adaptability. In the 50s, when Antrim came on the scene with the hand passing, they said, Kerry football is dead. Kerry football is still there. Down in the, in the 60s with their tactics, Dublin with their extreme fitness levels in the 70s, the defensive systems from the Ulster teams in the 80s. And the bottom line is that great teams like Kilkenny Hornets, like Kerry, they have adaptability, they and can play any sort of game and, and they'll this, remain at the top. Joe Brawley, <laughs> it's what is being asked of Mayo it's and It's called Dublin. the natural.